Hi, this is Marty with Skincare Science. Welcome back for another video. All right, uh, in this one, uh, this one's cool. Yeah, Radiance Reviver, $45, 30 minutes. It's an express facial and or uh, lunchtime facial. Okay, very quick, very easy. So steps, AHA, AHA3 facial cleanser, liquid lufa. Oh, by the way, that's not a spelling error. Originally, when I developed Serene, I did not like the way the double F looked, so I removed one. Would I do it again that way? I don't think so, because <laughs> the amount of questions and blah, 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 whatever. All right, be careful what you wish for when you try to be creative. All right, healing facial mask, regenerating eye cream, hydrating lotion, anti-age protect. All right, so first and foremost, regenerating eye cream, that product by name is no longer valid within the Serene line. I do not like naming any of my products after where they should be applied to the skin. The reason why is because, well, skin is skin. Yes, it's thinner and thicker and a little bit slightly different. Yes, but we're not talking about skin and or transitional skin. Okay, transitional skin is what goes into the mouth and or what goes into the eye and or what goes into other parts of our bodies where it goes from dry, cornified to moist. Okay, so regenerating eye cream was replaced with anti-age regenerating cream. HA3, perfect. If you see acne, switch out with salicylic acid. Liquid Lufa, perfect. If you've watched the other videos, you know what's coming next. This is going here. Uh, hydrating lotion is gone. Use ceramide lotion, okay? You might as well, just might as well, okay? Uh, liquid loofah. Now, if you want to combine these two, you can, okay? Try it. Um, acne present, remove this. With acne, no. Okay. Healing facial mask comes after regenerating eye cream. Oh, okay. Anti-age regenerating cream. Combine that with a little bit of hydrating lotion so that you can go around the orbital eye area and spread out. Okay. You can use less anti-age regenerating cream by lowering your cost of good with the $45 because there's, a, there's not a whole lot of profit as it relates to the amount of setup, product used, and the time involved in one of these. These are the lost leaders, but they're very effective. They work well, so be creative in your foundational costs so that you can uh, keep your overhead low, uh, make a profit, but at the same time uh, give value. So, anti-age regenerating cream with your hydrating lotion, or orbital eye area, uh, go as far out as you can, then come back, don't do anything with your fingers, come back with ceramide lotion and finish up. Uh, healing mask, um, after that, combine the hydrating lotion and uh, the anti-age regenerating cream, orbital eye area, uh, feather out, come back with ceramide lotion, you can do healing mask, but me personally, if someone's coming in and getting their makeup removed, the last steps as it relates to healing mask and anti-age protect depends on what they're doing afterward. Leave it in. See. Uh, okay. I'm going to leave it up to the esthetician as to where they apply the healing mask. Is that after the facial or, or going back to what I said earlier, which was anti-age regenerating cream, hydrating lotion, ceramide lotion, healing facial mask, wipe away and or, if time permitting, use saturated 4x4s, forehead, 
uh, left and right, over the mouth, leave the nose for breathing, cool fan, using the facial mask, saturated 4x4s for weight, soothing, calm, and occluding anti-age regenerating cream, hydrating lotion, and ceramide lotion underneath the healing mask. Clean that off, come back with anti-age protect. Yeah. He already said that about the healing mask. Correct. This is Marty with Skincare Science. I hope this helped and gives you something to think about as it relates to using information that I've used in other videos to increase client expectations and your ability to perform a really nice facial for an extremely good rate of $45 for 30 minutes. This is Marty with Skincare Science and we'll see you in the next video.